How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another 24 kit of canister shells. This one by Taco Pyrotechnics is called the best of five inch and six inch artillery shells. Now this is something I picked up from Spirit of 76 Fireworks. If you guys are interested in getting one of these kits for yourself, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description and I'll have all that good stuff there. Now this is going to be a mixed kit and so we actually have four shell kits inside this one box. Um, this is what the back looks like and getting an up close shot for you, we have the effects guide. So over here we have the six inch mammoth shells one through six right there. There's your references if you guys want to screenshot that. We have the six inch ringmaster shells. We do have these, um, a separate six shell kit of these, but we're going to be fusing those up one through six as well. Um, down here we have the plutonium five inch shells. There's all your effects. And then over here we have the five inch Nishiki bombs by Taco Brand Fireworks. And all of your effects are going to be right there. We're going to fuse up each one of these sleeves one through six in the mortar rack. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our shell kit and we are gonna be taking a look at each sleeve since each sleeve is its own canister shell kit. So this one here, it's the Ringmaster. These are six inch canister shells. And we'll get you an example of a six inch shell right up next to a five inch shell since we have both in the kit. This is what your tube looks like. That is a 12 inch fiberglass tube concrete down there, wooden base. And this is the exact same tube that we're gonna get for all four of these kits. So this is the only tube I'm gonna show you, but we will show you the shells. Now this is what your six inch mammoth shells are gonna look like. You'll notice all the effects right there on the middle of the shell. And um, we're gonna see that throughout these four kits. And moving on to some five inch canister shells. These are the Nashiki bombs. That's what your shells are gonna look like individually. No numbers on the shells, but we are going to try to match up the effects that were listed on the back in the way that we load these into our mortar rack. So when they fire, they will likely be firing in the order that you see these sleeves. And last but not least, we got the five inch plutonium shells. Love this yellow graphic. And um, this is actually our last shell in the kit. As you can see, there's nothing else in that box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these out. And by the way, the plutonium shells are like the only shells in this whole kit that I have not seen. I'm gonna cut one of these out and put it right up next to a six inch shell so you guys can see the difference. So just for reference, this is what your five inch canister shell looks like up next to a six inch canister shell. You can see that extra inch at the top. So hopefully these babies are loaded, but there's only one way to find out. So we're gonna go shoot them off right now. All right guys, so this is the Taco Pyrotechnics kit all fused up in the rack. Um, you might be kind of confused, like what am I looking at here? Well, what I've done is I fused all the shells together in the bottom like you guys have seen me do with our new fusing method for canister shells. And you'll see I wrote start here. So we're gonna start with the plutonium shells, five inch, and the first six shells to fire are gonna be the plutonium. Then after these first six plutonium shells go, we actually go right into the next set of six shells. There is no delay there. And these ones are the six inch mammoth shells. So we're gonna have a nice side by side on some five inch cans versus some six inch. Then we'll take you over to the other side of the rack where you'll notice I actually did the exact same thing, okay? But we have uh, two new shell kits. So starting over here, this is where the leader fuse is. We've got the six inch ringmaster shells. So now we're opening with six inch canister shells and then going back into five inch cans over here. So we're gonna get like a nice compare and contrast five inch versus six inch, see if there's any difference in noise or performance. And finally, we're gonna finish with the five inch Nishiki bombs. So shells 13 through 18 are gonna be the ringmaster and then immediately following that. So that'll be shells 19 through 24 are gonna be the five inch Nishiki bombs. Just a quick reminder, there are gonna be no breaks in between these shells going off. So you guys will have to pay attention and count them as they're going off, but we think we have a pretty good pace on that fuse, so it shouldn't be an issue. And then I'll just give you a recap over here. Shells one through six are gonna be plutonium. Shells seven through 12 are gonna be the six inch mammoth shells. Here we go guys, this is the taco shell kit.
Yeah, you could really hear a difference in person when you switched over to the six inch mammoth shells. Here goes our next set of 12 shells, starting with Ringmaster. Oh, look at that crackling ring. We had another one, but. Here we go, five inch Nishiki bomb, baby. Look at this. Man, these things are hitting hard. Wow. I think those are gonna take it. Definitely the winner of this comparison, five inch Nishiki bombs. All right guys, well as you can see, all 24 shells went off from the taco kit. These labels are just hanging on by a thread. Um, check it out, our fusing worked really nicely. You could clearly distinguish what shells were going off at what point in the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the multiple camera angles on this kit, and we'll see you next time.